Today we are going to be looking at 6.5 harder trigonometric equations. So what is a harder trigonometric equation? There are two types in harder, trigonomet uh, harder trigonometric equations. The first one, first let me show you a simple trigonometric equation. If you have like sine theta is half, it's a simple trigonometric equation. But when you have sine 2 theta equals half, it's called a harder trigonometric equation because instead of theta, you have some other number here associated with theta. It can be any number. It can be 3 theta, 5 theta, theta over 2. It can be anything. For example, another one, cos 3 theta over 2 is negative 1 over 4. It's harder trigonometric equation type 1. That's type 1. Type 1 means uh, the theta is multiplied by or divided by some number. That's harder trigonometric equation type 1. Type 2, you will have plus or minus another value here. For example, sine theta minus 45 degrees 1 over root 2. That's type 2. Or cos of 2 theta plus 10 degree is negative 1 over 4. You will have minus or plus some value the theta can be just theta or it's it can be multiplied by a number so these are all the harder trigonometric equation type 1 and type 2 we are going to learn how to solve this harder trigonometric equation step by step the good news here the method is same as solving the simple trigonometric equation but there is something one extra step you need to do at the, at the beginning of this and at the end and the rest of the things are same, same like solving simple trigonometric equations. I have taken this question from exercise 6e. Now this is harder trigonometric equation type 1 because you don't have plus or minus some value here. The theta is just multiplied by 2 so it's, it comes under harder trigonometric equations type 1. So as I told you the method is same as solving simple trigonometric equation. But there is something you need to do at the beginning. When you see a number here, in this case we have 2. So you need to multiply everything by 2. 0 times 2, 2 times theta, 2 times 2 pi. That's your first step. So we are going to solve this equation within this limit. How do we solve it? First step, find the principal value. Put your calculator in radian mode and find the principal value cos inverse of half. It's pi over 3. And then use a STC diagram. The cos theta is positive. First take the limit 0 to 2 pi first. 0 to 2 pi. And cos theta is positive here and here. So it's theta. Here it's 2 pi minus theta. So our solution is, it's not theta actually, you have to put it as 2 theta when you find the principal value. So don't divide here by 2, just keep it as 2 theta. 2 theta equals theta and 2 pi minus theta. So we got the solutions from 0 to 2 pi, but our limit is 0 to 4 pi. Now when you start from 2 pi to 4 pi, the solution now will be 2 pi plus theta. This will be 4 pi minus theta. Because when you go second round, you are starting from 2 pi. And this is 3 pi. And back here again, it's 4 pi. So you will have 2 pi plus theta. 4 pi minus theta. Now simplify then. So your 2 theta equals pi over 3 comma 6 minus 1 is 5 pi over 3, 6 plus 1 7 pi over 3, 12 minus 1 11 pi over 3. That's 2 theta but we need theta so you have to divide everything by 2. So your theta is pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6. 11 pi over 6. Write it as a simplified fraction. That's our solution. So you see the method is same as solving simple trigonometric equation. But at the beginning, if this number is 2, multiply everything by 2. If it is 3, multiply everything by 3. If it's divided by 2, divide everything by 2. And then when you find the principal value, keep it as the same. 
find the solutions and at the end this is one extra step you have to divide everything by two that's all that's how you solve harder trigonometric equations type one before i solve this question let me explain something else here if you look at your question 2c the question is this sine of minus theta is 1 over root 2 so if you are wondering what to do when you have a negative number here because i told you the type 2 is the theta is multiplied by a number a positive number but what if it's a negative number you need to remember these three results sine of minus theta is same as sine theta cos of minus theta is uh, sine of minus theta sorry it's same as minus sine theta you can put this minus in front cos of minus theta is positive cos theta there is no minus here tan of minus theta is sine over cos so you will have negative tan theta you need to remember these three results so only cos of minus theta will be positive, the rest two will be negative. Now using this result here, you can write it as minus sine theta equals 1 over root 2. Multiply both sides by a negative sign. You will get this equation. This is a simple trigonometric equation, so it's easy to solve. So when you have a negative number inside, let's say instead of negative theta, you have negative 3 theta. You write it as negative sine 3 theta. So your sine 3 theta will be negative 1 over 2. It's a harder trigonometric equation type 1 and you know how to solve this. So don't worry about multiplying the limits by a negative number. You don't need to do that. You can just put the negative sign outside if it is sine or tan theta. If it is cos theta, cos of minus theta is same as cos just positive theta. Now look at this question, we have more than one trigonometric functions here. So the first step is converting them to a, into a single trigonometric function. So put this term here, 2 sine 2x equals cos 7 cos 2x. Divide everything by cos 2x. 2 sine 2x divided by cos 2x equals here cos 2x will be cancelled sine over cos is tan 2x equals bring these two here 7 over 2 that's a harder trigonometric equation type 1 so first step multiply these limits by this number so it's 2 times 0 2 times theta it's x in this case 2 times 180 degree now solve this find the principal value tan inverse of 7 over 2 use your calculator in degree mode it's 74.05 74.1 degree that's the principal value now draw the ASTC diagram our new limit is 0 to 316 and you need to find the quadrant where your tan theta is positive it's here theta and here it's uh, 180 plus theta. So your solution 2x will be theta, which is same as the principal value, 180 plus theta. So you'll get 254.1 degree. That's 2x. So at the end, you divide everything by 2. You get 37 degree. Come on. 127 degree. When I divide by 2, I'm not going to use this rounded figure because this actual value of this is 74.05 something. So I have used this value without before rounding it and then divide by 2. So you will get 37.0 something. So it's 37, 127 degrees.